It's truly a, an honor and a pleasure to be here tonight. Serendipitously, today, I, uh, I was looking at my iPhone and there was a, a, a mark on there for a birthday that, we're, that I was going to celebrate. It was the 95th an, uh, birthday for Frederick Mayer. And Frederick Mayer was the team leader for Operation Greenup. And that directly relates to the individual that I'm going to talk about in a minute. Operation Greenup was one of OSS's most successful missions, according to Bill Casey. They made a deep penetration behind enemy lines into Austria. And it was a mission that was to monitor rail traffic on the Brenner Pass, pass but it, it morphed into a lot more than that. They destroyed a number of trains that were bound through the Brenner Pass into Italy, destroying countless tanks and other armored vehicles. And ultimately, the mission delivered up the entire city of Innsbruck, Austria, along with its German and SS garrisons to the advancing um, American army. The uh, individual that I'm going to interview tonight is John Billings. And John is an extraordinary pilot. His career began in 1938, where he took flying lessons and shortly after that was flying. He then joined the U.S. Army Air Corps and flew 15 daylight bombing missions in Italy. I mean, the mark of, if you were lucky, was 25. You had a 25% of survival rate at that time. It was some of the, the highest number of casualties were in the Army Air Corps. John didn't stop there, though. He then volunteered to conduct missions behind the lines and pilot them and he conducted 39 missions after that, including one of the most dangerous of the war, Operation Greenup. And this is a time when all the other air, air crews basically turned down Operation Greenup because they considered it the most dangerous mission. And John, with his blacked out B-24 and his crew, had to thread the needle through the Brenner Pass in you know eight or 9,000 foot mountainous passes with downdrafts and winds, not to mention countless German flak batteries, as well as, as German airplanes that were patrolling the area, and he was able to do it. They, they, they had to scrub the mission twice because it was so dangerous. They were finally able to, to deliver Fred Mayer's Operation Greenup on a 8,000-foot um, glacier. They parachuted on that glacier and then made their way into Innsbruck. So it's really an honor and a pleasure to present the Distinguished Service Award to Mr. John Billings. Thank you very much. I am very proud of my record in the 885th Operation Heavy is Special so Bomb Group, that the Royal Air Force which was a secret name for OSS operations. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know who that kid is. I just want to let you know, though, it has been written that I volunteered for this mission <laughs> and that I knew that the British uh, arm of the, uh, our clandestine operation had turned it down because it was dangerous. Neither one of those is true. <laughs> I have no recollection of, uh, of volunteer for anything. Of course, I did, I, did, I did enlist into the Army, so maybe everything I did was volunteer. <laughs> I don't know. However, I do remember that back then, I had the conceit and uh, knowing of ability of the B-24 and my crew that we could complete any mission that they could think of. And we did that. All 39. And I thank you for that honor.
one, one other little last thing, if I might. Contain, uh, uh, my late wife and I stood right side of Fred Mayer in the Austrian embassy in Washington, D.C., when the Austrian ambassador presented him with the Tyrolean Gold Cross, which was the highest honor given to any uh, uh, military man from Austria. And our government hasn't. <laughs> and as, as previously noted, on my calendar is a little thing that says, show up at Shepherdstown, the Bavarian Inn, tonight for Fred Mayer's 95th birthday celebration. Thank you again. Thank you.